Hello loyal fans and viewers, this is High Def and I am back with more Wildstar. I'm super excited today, why? Because I just watched the Spellslinger dev speak and the information was amazing. This is a class I've been highly anticipating since I heard about it. Um, why? Well, because I've been a caster class basically for every MMO I played. This is a caster class, but it's taken to the next level and it's badass. I mean, the name of the class says it all. You are lit literally slinging out guns and slinging spells out of these guns. This is by far the best class I've seen thus far. The main weapon for the spell spl slinger, spell slinger, it's a little bit of a tongue twister, are his mag pistols. The second most important thing, which works in unison with his or her mag pistols, are the magic sigils. They juice up their mags with sorceress sigils. What does this mean? Upgrading your mags to do more damage, have better accuracy, and much more. Last but not least, spell slingers utilize acrobatics. Flips, rolls, parkour maybe? All I'm saying is, how do you beat a ninja with two guns? Impossible. To become a spell slinger on the exile side, you can choose from both humans or in the Mordash. To become a spell slinger on the dominion side, you can choose from both the Cassian, Chua, and Draken. Spell slingers utilize light armor. Hence caster class, which I mentioned earlier. Spell power is the main stat used to increase the strength of abilities. And focus is the other stat, which is used for casting them without interruption. Spell power is obtained in a regenerative state, but items in certain stats and abilities can upgrade your overall spell power pool. The spell slinger's innate ability is spell surge. While active, your spells do more damage. Simple as that. The Spell Slinger can be both DPS and Healer. The DPS will focus on the following basic skills, Arcane Missile and Flame Burst, while the Healer's basic skills are Regenerative Pulse and Sustain. Some of the strengths of the Spell Slinger are Range, High Burst Capability, Mobility, and Crowd Control. They're great at kiting, they use their Frost skills to snare slash slow the enemies, and they do heavy damage on the move. Their weaknesses. As far as healing, most of this is done with the aiming skills, they're not direct heals. They're also a squishy class, they wear cloth, that's a weakness. They also rely heavily on aiming for both DPS and the healer build. So you need to be skilled with this aiming and the process of it in Wildstar to make a good spell sling. This is a class that isn't going to just be hack and slash, click a couple F1, F2, F3 keys and you're good to go. You gotta aim that mouse, you gotta press F1, and then you're good to go. No, I'm just kidding. But this class is gonna take some skill. I'm excited to play it. I'm gonna play all the classes, do reviews on them once I'm in game. But for the most part, I hope you guys are enjoying what I've been bringing to you for Wildstar so far. I've put my heart and soul into this game. I do as much research as I can, and I would appreciate a subscribe, like, whatever you can do. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for supporting me. I look forward to doing more. Peace.